stop it. That is magical. This is like peacock, medieval, fairy tale, jewel tone. Oh my gosh, this is spectacular. Wow. <laughs> All right, my beautiful glam fam, before we get started, if you guys don't mind, if you would hit that subscribe button, click the post notification bell, join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday, and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button, and when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure, and check out my Merge Glamorous Life collections. All right, let's jump into this. We have another eyeshadow palette to review. There has been quite a bit of eyeshadow releases. I still need to get to the Makeup by Mario one, comment below and let me know if you're still interested in me doing looks with this brand new Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. I'm a little late to the game, but this one just jumped out at me and I was so excited for Lisa Aldridge. If you guys don't know, she is a world renowned celebrity makeup artist. She is incredible, so incredibly talented. I did review her foundation a while back and she kind of kept the same gold luxurious theme with the new eyeshadow palettes, but this foundation is really beautiful. I have it on right now. I will show you guys the color. It's number 16. It's a little too dark for me, so I actually mixed in a little bit of my iconic London blurring skin tint and together they're really beautiful. This is a gorgeous formulation for mature skin if you like a little bit more coverage But still want it to look wearable. This is a gorgeous foundation I just need to go down and shade and I have too much of that to work with So when that runs out then I will get a lighter shade But I was really excited to test out these eyeshadow palettes This brand new holiday collection from Lisa Aldridge includes five six pan palettes and five new lipstick shades I was only able to pick up one one palette because they are priced at a higher price point at $68. And I know we just went over this in the new Natasha Denona retro glam palette. I feel like these companies are just getting more and more expensive, but if it's worth it, you guys know, I will let you know. But $68 is a kind of a steep price point, but there is something I really like that she did with this collection, and I'll point that out in just a second. But these five new ultra sleek, playful eyeshadow palettes are cased in this elegant, lightweight, slim gold component, again, matching the theme of her foundation and her other packaging. It is just absolutely stunning. And I actually really like the thinness of this. And I like the fact that it's small and you can just put this into your travel bag, your makeup kit. If you're a makeup artist, it really is just curate it so beautifully and packaged in the most gorgeous component. Here, I'll let you guys see it up close in studio. Really beautiful. I love how that just is so sleek. You've got like a different texture going on here. Then you've got more of like a matte gold there, but it does have oh, a little ASMR. <laughs> it does have that like little, just a, just a different texture, really beautiful, which will help stay clean as well. And then she has the shades in the back. I'll just point out right now, she made these refillable and that's what I was going to mention in a second. I really, really appreciate that. I wish more Pat McGrath palettes would do that because let's be honest, in a lot of palettes, we just don't really care for every single shade or we just don't use them as much. And if we wanna travel with them, we just wanna make sure that we can uh, pop them out and put them in a Z palette or do whatever you want with them. But these jewel tones are just stunning. I have to be honest, this was the only one that just really stood out to me. I do like the cool tone one, but that's it. The other ones just didn't, they didn't vibe with my taste, but really beautiful. All the shades are gorgeous, but I just really loved this one. As soon as I saw it, I knew right away. I was like, that is the one I want. So gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Each palette is curated with six harmoniously complementary shades, and these are her own words, with a very unique, easy to blend, high performance, microplastic, and talc free textures. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of you are always looking for shadows that are talc 
free. Just so you guys know, Lisa Eldridge is cruelty free. I will post her video in the description box below of her explaining all five palettes and her lipstick. She tries them all on for you guys. I think it is a really good video to reference to really get the best out of these palettes. And I really love that she did that. Not only did she make these that you can poke them out and put them in a Z palette, like what Natasha Denona does, but what she also did is she made all of those shades in all five of those palettes individual $16 on her website. I'll put the gram right there and I'll put the price per gram. There's not a whole lot of grams in there, but you're getting quality shadows. So if they're really good, I'm gonna say they're worth it. We're gonna try it out today. Now let's dive in to the sorcery shades, but first I wanna let you guys know, this is from her words. She was inspired by the myths and tales and legends of the medieval spirit. And she was inspired by the kind of that medieval times is where she gets this particular palette. So all the drama of Peacock's Tale with pure pigment alchemy. So you can see that in all of those swatches. So many gorgeous jewel tones, as I already mentioned earlier. So we have Troubadour, which is a seamless matte, and that is a very deep, inky, teal, which I still think would be really beautiful with that blue metallic. So we're going to kind of combine since it's the only matte we have in this palette. We're going to combine that with the blue today. And you really can because blues and greens really do go beautifully together. And the one thing I can say about all of these shades is they can all be used individually on its own and still create really magical looks. And, and then we have Grotto, which is a metallic rich emerald green. Oh my goodness, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous green metallic. If you love greens and blues, you're going to freak over these shades. The next shade is Madrigal. That's a metallic blackened antique green gold. Oh my gosh, it is really beautiful. The next shade is Mercurial. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's a luminous prismatic green to heather duo chrome. It almost has like rose gold, gold, uh, greens. It's a really special color. There's not a lot of base there, but it is really beautiful. And then we have Maj or Maj. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's a metallic pale silvery sage green with a gray and icy blue, pink, gold, and green pearls. That is what we call a very, very different and unique color. It is really gorgeous and it's going to go really beautiful with a green look and with a blue look. So I really like that. The last one is Swan Song and that's a metallic rich sapphire blue. Oh my gosh. I love blues just as much as I love greens. So I am so excited to dive into this. Oh my gosh, you guys, these shades are so incredibly beautiful. You can see up close in that video, how much reflection you get. So let me just swatch them for you guys on my arm in studio, just so you can kind of get an idea of what one swipe swatches look like. So again, that is more like that luminous you don't get that's more of like I would consider like a almost like a top coat formula and then this is her other metallic this is like that one that had all those different tones blues greens pinks so again those are one swipe swatches let's get in another dip on that one this one wasn't as much payoff, I didn't think, but it's really beautiful nonetheless. And sometimes not everybody likes a lot of payoff. These are super creamy metallics though. I can feel them in the pan, how creamy they are. And remember, sometimes things swatch good and don't perform good. Sometimes things swatch better. So we're running out of energy there, but it could be my bone too, like the bone of my arm is right there. So that could be it as well. Let's get into this antique gold because, oh my gosh, we're running out of space here. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. And then we'll get into that blue. Oh, so creamy, you guys. Just really, really creamy. Look at that blue. Whew. And then we're gonna take that last seamless matte green. Let's get in another little swatch there. 
And then you guys can take a look there. So those are the one swipe swatches in studio. I don't do this too often if it's not like, this is a smaller palette, so I don't mind, but if it was like 16 shades, I don't wanna to take too much time doing that. I'd rather just swatch them all for you guys so you can see. I do have my MAC Soft Ochre on, and this is uh, my base I use. I think this one, or Painterly, depend depending on your skin tone, will be really beautiful, but that's what I have on as my base. So just a nice, perfect color for me. Uh, it kind of just goes right into my skin tone, but I just love this base. I've been using it for over 20 years and it's just tried and true for me. So that's the only reason why I pulled that one in today. All right, I'm gonna pull you guys in closer and we are gonna start off with that Sephora Collection Contour Shade. And I'm gonna take it on to this Wayne Goss. I think this is a number seven brush. This is unfortunately not available, but it doesn't really matter which brush you use. All right, and we're just gonna start that one and we're just gonna do a light dusting of this. We don't want this to be anything impactful because we are going to use, you know, the jewel tones and we don't want this brown to stick out. I'm just using this so it's in there and we have some type of gradients into a lighter shade that we'll use on top. So we're gonna start off with the blue first and then we're gonna work around that. Plus I want you guys to see what the blue looks like on its own. So let's start off with more of a densely packed brush. We're gonna pull out my BK Beauty Angie A505. And this one is a very flat brush. I just cleaned all my brushes, so it's nice and clean. And we're gonna dip into that royal gorgeous blue and I'll put the name right there because I'm not gonna remember. I think it's called Swan Song. So we're gonna take that blue one onto this BK Beauty A505. I'm just gonna really saturate that brush just on one side. I'm gonna put that right there so you guys can see it. We're gonna try this on its own without wetting it, just so we can see what the payoff is with this blue. She did say in the video that her metallics, just like a lot of metallics, perform better with the finger. So the payoff is not like a crazy creamy metallic, like the antique gold one feels even more creamy and wet in the pan. Let's see here. I mean, they swatch really nicely. But do you guys, is it me or are you not seeing a whole lot of payoff in that blue? I'm gonna just be honest, I have seen better blue metallics. So I think that one needs a little work on the formulation on just the blue one. Uh, let me give you a difference here. So this one is has a more of a triochrome. This is the Danessa Myricks, kind of like, this is more of a blue green but you will see the difference there. I mean, that one just has a lot of impact. Do you guys see that? Versus, now this one's not a duochrome, but uh, you can just see the difference. You can see the shine. Now, I almost would have liked that one to be more of a matte color because that metallic is not giving me the zhuzh that I, I typically like, that, that the rest of the metallics do. So that's the only, only little gotcha there. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off really quick and we're gonna start over. All right, you guys, I'm back. I had to take that off and kind of start over. That's not where I wanna go with this look. And I wanna really give this palette a fair shot. So I am gonna use that one more as a liner than I am going to use it as like a base shade. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start off with this antique gold because it's so beautiful and I really do wanna play with that one. You can just tell how creamy that one is versus the blue one. That is the payoff I was hoping the blue was gonna give me, but that color is stunning and it's gliding over my mature, almost 45 eyes like a dream. That is a really beautiful, beautiful formulation. Much, 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 much better. That is really beautiful. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. I don't think these are the kind of metallics that are like, boom, in your face, like I just showed you with Danessa Myricks. 
I don't think they're meant to be those kind of metallics, so you're not getting that same exact payoff as you would with like a Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath or Danessa Myricks. And that's okay. Sometimes we don't always want those. I'm just going in with a more detailed flat brush. These are more like lip brushes. Um, and I just get them at like Ulta, the Morphe ones. And they never have them online. I don't know why I can never find them online. They're only a few dollars though. And I'm just getting that in there so I can get a little bit closer. Now let's go into Troubadour, that seamless, dark, deep, teal, green, bluish color. Really beautiful. And we're gonna take that on to my Sigma E34. It's just like a really densely packed pencil brush. And I'm gonna dip that in there. I can't wait to try out this formula. This is clean, but as you can tell, it's a dark, brush so it's really hard to see the color and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that one right on that outer corner area and we're just gonna press because I don't know how these formulas work now again these are more her seamless ones this is not her creamy one so keep that in mind this is more like has those very small luminosity feel to it to make it ultra blendable is what she rated that as. That is a really beautiful color that is very pigmented too, which is nice. We're gonna make it more blue looking in just a second, but we're, I just want you guys to be able to see on camera what the greens look like first. So in case you didn't wanna use the blue, you can just use this look and leave it there with the greens or you can do what I'm about to do. We're gonna take this Sigma E42. I'm gonna go back in to that deep, seamless matte green, and we're just gonna start blending that. And don't worry, I'm gonna clean all that up in just a second. I just wanna place this pigment in there, and then I will do all the cleaning later. More patting motions. Okay, we got a little messy there. Let's take this little Sigma E57, because it is more of a flat brush. This is just a travel one. It's more densely packed. I'm gonna pop that one right there. Oh yeah, see? I'm gonna take this one right there, and I'll clean up the other stuff later, the middle color. It's like a, like a, I don't understand this metallic. It's just so beautiful. Like she described it, it's just, it can pull green, it can pull blue. It does have that little speck of pink in there, but very minute, more like just a slate gray almost. Oh, I don't know, it's very unique. Well, it kind of covered up the gold, but that's okay. It actually looks pretty over that antique gold. It kind of calmed it down a little. That is a gorgeous color. I'm kind of mixing these two together and just patting it into the eye. Blending it almost into the crease to really make sure everything is cohesive. I think what's magical about this palette is that all of these shades literally just melt into each other in the most harmonious way. I really love it. I'm just taking those two and just mixing them like that and look at how beautiful that is. I mean, this BK Beauty brush really helps me kind of align that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of those two again. I love mixing these shades together. I think that's how I like using this palette. It's really beautiful. And then I'm just taking that above there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more depth in there and just kind of stamp that. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I'm not gonna blend that out. Sometimes, try this at home. Don't over blend. Sometimes when you over blend is when you start getting patchiness, is when you start getting things looking muddy. So the trick is do not over blend. Do more pressing motions like this 
and blend out the edges, but don't go over that and blend. I used to do that too. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I think we all are. That is when shadows get muddy. So always keep that in mind. I'm gonna take a little bit of that metallic green in the middle. I'm gonna go back to that Sigma E42. I'm wiping it off a little on that Sigma switch pad. I'm gonna take that middle metallic right there and we're gonna go over the edges of that and just kind of soften it out. And that's really beautiful to do it that way. That is really pretty. Oh my gosh, once I clean up and put my lashes on, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take this final shade, which is the only one we didn't use. Look at this duochrome. I mean, again, this is more of her lustrous shade, so not a lot of base in that but really beautiful shade. I mean, you can just pop that on for a natural daytime look with just some mascara or false lashes. That's gonna be stunning. Wow, that is so pretty. You can see the impact more on my finger swatch. Watch this. Stop it. That is magical. This is like, Peacock, medieval, fairy tale, jewel tone. Oh my gosh, this is spectacular. Wow. Oh my gosh, Lisa Eldridge. This is one of the most gorgeous color stories. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna kind of lightly swipe that into the inside just to really open my eyes. That just opened my eye even more. Just taking nothing on this brush, just patting it all together, whatever was left over on it, just to make sure we blend everything together. That is pure magical. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, for sure, we are going to do this main line because this is gonna, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite color of all time. I love this formula, I love this color oh my gosh this is gonna go gorgeous with this this is gonna tie in all the blues and greens hoo, hoo, hoo. i will be using this and i'm gonna do this look again off camera i'm gonna put that underneath and it's gonna make it pop even more but that's okay today we want to just really stick to the shadows so let's put this main line on the bottom and you can put this on the inner rim or you can do it this way however you want to do it I have been using this shade for so many years. Just to reinforce that liner, I'm gonna first go in with the metallic blue, and I'm gonna take that on to this Morphe brush. This is just any kind of like pin tight brush. And I'm gonna take that blue, and I'm just gonna kind of go over the liner, because the liner was more blue, I wanna do that. And then I'll put the green underneath it. You always want to put shadow over your liner because that's going to prevent the liner from running down, especially as the winter months come and people have more issues with watery eyes. You want to make sure to really reinforce that liner. Never leave liner on its own. Always put a powder over it. I promise you will thank me later. Holy guacamole, that is really beautiful. Now to deepen it out more on the outside, I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm not gonna clean it off because I wanna keep some of that blue in there going into the matte green. And we're just gonna kinda of go up underneath that now. Really building up that smoky line. So I'm just gonna take this rougher number three. We're gonna take this metallic. On there, this is a new uh, clean one, and I'm gonna pop that right there. One thing I want to show you guys I just was trying it off camera, and I didn't want to waste too much time on camera, otherwise, the video would be like 10 hours long. But I took this middle shade right here, just on a fluffy brush. This is a Marc Jacobs brush, but it doesn't matter which brush it is. I just took a little bit on there. And what I did to buff out the edges is I just took that lighter metallic and I went around the edges like that. And let me tell you, that blended it in the most gorgeous 
way. I'm taking this Hourglass Blue 1.5 millimeter eyeliner. I love these eyeliners. You guys know I have it in black. This one is in blue and it is like one of the most beautiful colors. See how that just brings the look together. If I did black, that would have been too harsh. This is a gorgeous color and I love this formula. This is a formulation like no other. I don't have a formulation like this in my collection. I have a lot of punchy metallics that are just, you guys know, are just dreamy from Pat McGrath to Viseart to Danessa Myricks, Natasha Denona. They just give you those punch metallics. These give you a punch in a different sort of way. And I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just nothing that I have in my collection. I can't believe that I can actually use these metallics as like crease colors. I was able to pretty much create a look with one soft matte formulation. That is not even like a punchy metallic, I'm sorry, a punchy matte formula like I get from like Viseart or even Makeup by Mario. Just that automatic, almost like that cream to, like her other formulation. I'm used to working with mattes like this, like that. This formulation is very different, but very unique and extremely blendable. I mean, anyone could use this palette. It really is extraordinary. So I'm gonna give this a solid five out of five stars. It is unbelievably gorgeous, unbelievably gorgeous. 100% of me would recommend this formulation, especially for us mature skin ladies. We have mature lids. You really have to work with formulations that are going to last and are also going to just glide over our mature aging eyes. I did add in a little bit of my pop shots from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Emerald Eyes. I do have a look using this uh, in a different video, but I did add in a little bit of this and you guys can see. This goes really beautifully with this palette. So you can really see how gorgeous that would be together. I mean, just extraordinary. And if I'm doing a green look, I'm gonna probably mix that in with it because this and this next to it is going to be pretty spectacular. I mean, really beautiful. As you can tell, that is definitely has a little bit more creamy and a little bit more punch in the Charlotte Tilbury one in the middle. These are the two Lisa Aldridge ones, but really pretty. This is from Danessa Myrex. This one, I really love these two greenish gold ones. Uh, I will swatch those next to those. And you can just see like the differences right there. Here, let me see if I gotta cover my face or you're not gonna be able to focus. How can I do this? There we go. This is very rich toned. It's just really, really pretty, but those are not ones that you could use in your crease. I mean, you could, but those are ones you really wanna spotlight the look with, where these metallics are not as punchy, but as you can tell, they worked beautiful as accent, like what I would do with mattes. So I just love it. I love having different formulations. I personally think, and you guys know, I was really hard on the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette because we have to be honest with ourselves and I have to be honest with you guys right now. As I mentioned in the last video with the cost of inflation and everything so extraordinarily high, some people not able to pay their bills, their rent, a lot of people are struggling right now. So I, I have to be really like specific in my reviews and go, okay, is this worth it to me? I do think this is worth $68. I did not think the Natasha Denona one was worth $69 because they weren't shades that I would utilize a lot. Now, if you don't have the funds, I completely understand. Maybe someday she'll have a sale. I wish these palettes would come down a little bit in cost, especially with the way the world is right now especially here in the United States. I'm not really sure how it is in the UK and all that, but here in the US, a lot of people are struggling. So 
we really need to be particular on what we're buying and we have to be I have to be conscious of it other influencers have to be conscious of it but I can just review it and let you know maybe you don't have the money right now but when the time is right this is really beautiful if you had your eye out on this it is stunning I mean just stunning I am just really seriously like I don't even know what to think right now because it wasn't what I was thinking in the beginning of the video. So I am really happy when I swatched it, when I got it, when I took the product shots, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so blown away. When I put that blue in my eye, I was like, oh no, is this not gonna be good? And then it ended up being spectacular. So you just never know. I really do think Mainline, the Urban Decay, I already put it away was a beautiful touch to this. I think the hourglass navy blue that I put on the rim was really, really beautiful. So I definitely recommend those two with this type of look, especially I know Hannah, one of our UK glam sisters was asking how to get that eyeshadow on the bottom to stay. I addressed it in the last video, but it is really putting a liner down and then putting the shadow over the liner. You want to make sure you don't just put a liner down, that you put shadow over the liner. I really like taking those lighter metallics and really blending in. I think that just created the most scrumptious, blendable, gorgeous look. Oh my gosh. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. What do you think of this look? And let me know what your favorite was as far as the palettes in the comment section. Which one did you pick up? Which one did you have your eye out on? You can buy the Sorcery uh, lipstick. It's really pretty. You should see she put it on in this video when I can get the funds and I get my budget going. I will pick up the lipstick and I will pick up more individuals. It's just right now with the holiday season, I can't just go out and spend a ton of money. I barely had enough to get this in my budget. So I think I'm done for the rest of the year please brands don't come out with anything more or send it to me because I don't know if I can afford to keep buying more and more um, until I start getting more back from YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, I do have Makeup Forever and I will put the color right there. I have that on the inside of my lips and then I took my Powder Kiss MAC lipstick and this is in Teddy. 2.0 i think this one's still available these are really beautiful mattes and this just looked really gorgeous with this look so that's the color and then i have the uh makeup forever one on the inside because it's lighter so i like mixing those two it's kind of one of my favorite combinations to work with off camera and then i have my Erin Buxom lip gloss on. Really beautiful pink. I'll just show you what that looks like. I love my Buxom glosses. You guys know that they're one of my favorites, but you can check out more from the Lisa Aldridge line, but that's what I, that's the color combo I have on my lips. And then as far as blush goes, I have my Armani shade 30, like a really beautiful coral color just a gorgeous shade and then i'm obsessed with these sephora collection colorful uh, this is the blush i was using the contour color earlier but this is like a peach blush i have this one and i have the pink one and i had the pink one on in the natasha denona i wore it over the my dream cheek trio this is probably my favorite one out of the bunch but i love this in combination really beautiful so that's what i have on and then the jacqueline uh, cosmetics sparks highlighter just in case you had you guys had any questions on what i was wearing and again these are the anastasia beverly hills lengthy lashes for twelve dollars i just got them on sale so make sure to keep an, an eye out on my community post so i let you guys know of all the good black friday deals right now dermatology is running a really amazing black friday sale you guys know that i have the advanced neck cream that's going to be in my favorites i'm talking about next so i won't go into that this is the physical sunscreen i think it's important to keep our skin even during the winter months with sunscreen the advanced eye cream is my favorite and then these are my holy grails and then needleless serum and vitamin c e and f those are my like I cannot live without dermatology products that just changed my skin for 
ever. Check out my Instagram, follow me at Christia Laura. I just posted a huge Black Friday showing you before and after. I mean, my skin was horrendous a year ago and now look at it. So really amazing. Christy 20 at checkout. When Black Friday sales are not going on, use my code. It's you always get 20% off all the time. And then during the Black Friday sale, just use my link so you get the best possible discount. If you just use my link in the description box right there, you will I will get credit for that, but it will just take you to the site and you'll get the best deal ever. Don't use my code at checkout if there's a Black Friday sale going on or a bigger discount. But if there isn't, then go ahead and use Christy20 at checkout. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support we hit. 12k i know it's not a lot but that's a lot for me that's a huge milestone i started this channel with my mom she believed in me she said you're gonna do this you're gonna be a big youtuber you're gonna have millions of subscribers and when she passed away i thought i don't know if i can survive without my mom and it was all of my glam fam sisters that just got me through this i love you guys so much if you're new here before you go please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the post notification notification bell. Join us. Let's get to 15K now. We hit a 12K mark. Let's get to 15K. Thank you guys. I love you. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below. As always, it really does help my videos out. And when I'm not on YouTube, be sure to follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, and check out my merch, Glamorous Live Collections. And I will see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.